Hey guys and welcome to Help with iOS 5. Today we're going to be having a look at um, how to make sure you don't lose any files when you update to iOS 5. So as you can see I'm on my Mac at the moment. Um, you can do this on Mac and PC though, I'd recommend you follow along. Um, the first thing I'm going to recommend doing is to back up uh, your iTunes folder. The reason for this is some people have actually been losing their mobile apps or some of their music. Um, and how this works is inside of the iTunes folder everything's organized. So you'll see, for example over here you've got album artwork, you've got mobile applications, you've got iTunes music, and every single file is listed under that for your iTunes app to reference. So in the case that one of these goes missing, um, then sometimes you can be pretty stuck. So what I'd recommend is to uh, right click on the uh, iTunes folder and copy. It's the same process on Mac and PC. Copy and you can um, drop that onto an external hard drive or just another area of your uh, internal hard drive. So you could drop this into documents for example or just somewhere else that you're happy and know where it is. Um, so in the case that you do sync and your album artwork or something like that disappears, um, you can just copy and paste the um, copied iTunes folder right back into, into place. And that way all your mobile applications will come back and stuff like that. You won't have to re-download every single um, file. So if you've done that and you're happy with that, um, then that's great. Let's move on to the second part. So I'm just going to uh, make sure that you guys can't see my serial number over here on iTunes. Um, but on the left hand side of iTunes 10.5 you'll see I have my device listed. So um, the first thing I'd recommend you do uh, when you get to iTunes is hit sync because the first process of any sync is to back up the device. This works on iPod touches, iPads, iPhones. Um, so this will store a backup of the whole device, your text messages, your call history, absolutely everything securely um, for you to, well securely and completely untouchable uh, for you to be able to refer to in the case that something does go missing. So uh, you've gone through the update and you notice something like your contacts or a few of your songs are missing or just a few of your settings are out of place. So how do you restore from backup? So on the left hand side you'll see your device. All you need to do is right click, same on Mac and PC, and you can restore from backup. When you click on that, it shows you um, all of the times you've updated, um, it's all of the times you synced, sorry, and then you can just click on the relevant uh, backup file and it will take probably 20, 30 minutes to restore everything back into place. Um, then you'll have brand new software and everything that you had um, prior to that. So. As I said, if any of your settings go missing, you miss a few messages or whatever, everything that you had when you backed up this phone originally will pop straight back onto your device. So that's all for this um, Help with iOS video. Uh, I'd recommend following us on Twitter. I've tweeted like two and a half thousand times in four or five days. Um, and the majority of those tweets, pretty much 95% of those tweets are helping you guys um, troubleshoot and get around these error messages that, er error messages that you're seeing. The other thing I'd recommend doing is um, subscri subscribing here on YouTube. I'm going to release a video at least once every day. So it'd be really great if you could subscribe, keep yourself up to date with all the latest features and get around all these error messages that people keep seeing. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys in a bit.